Welcome and a happy Monday, as it is here with me today. Welcome to my little channel, um, where I just talk to you about the cars that we have been detailing and stuff, and are in the workshop. Uh, today, we've got something rather cool in, which is another M2, actually. We did last one of the last videos we did was an M2 as well. Uh, but this is owned by uh, Mr. Chris Harris from uh, Top Gear and other things. So, this car is in for... Bit of a freshen up, really. Chris got in touch a couple of weeks ago and just really mentioned that post Christmas uh, the car needed a bit of love. So, for those of you that don't know, this is a 2020 M2 comp with some rather cool options. So, the optional M performance wheels in that lovely gold. Um, I think the car as it stands has got about 8,500 miles on it. Um, and really, actually one of the biggest things that was one of Chris's priorities for this job, which I don't talk about a lot on this channel actually, was actually the interior. So if you've seen some of the latest stuff Chris is doing, uh, he's got a really, really nice English Bull Terrier who, I was going to say he's a pup, he's not even very long, but he, he was quite, quite small and, and pup and is now 25 kilos, so he's rapidly growing. Uh, and goes everywhere with Chris. Um, this car is one of Chris's dailies, gets used very regularly, um, and the, Chris's dog spends a lot of time inside it. So one of his priorities was that we really go through the interior, uh, which we've done. So given the seats, a very thorough scrub, um, given just carpets, everything like that, just a really good scrub. When you, you know, if you have a dog in your car, one of the crucial things is that you, it's like a little and often, type thing is really important. So we try to, uh, with this car and with other cars from customers that uh, have got that sort of stuff going on inside, we just need to keep them regularly going through inside and then really it's not a problem at all. Um, unlike the Audi that we did many, many years ago, if you remember the Red S4, uh, that had had a herd of large dogs in for a long time, uh, that needed a lot more work to sort out. Um, as well as that, this car has had just, you know, a regular going over outside, quick machine, you know, quick once over with the machine polisher. We've topped up the protection on the outside. As I said really before, this is one of Chris's cars that uses a lot. So um, this is basically a daily. Uh, at the moment it gets stinking. Um, and yeah, Chris does a lot of miles. So any additional protection we can put on the outside is always going to be good just to help it stay cleaner for longer, help it to get cleaner. You know, when it, when it is clean, it's quicker and easier to clean. Uh, got a lot of time for me cleaning it. Um, so yeah, that's really what we've done. Bit of a extra clean up on the wheels. The wheels really do are getting to the point where they need that annual take off. Then we can clean the insides of them, do the backs of the calipers and really get into the depths of the arches and all those things we like to do sort of once a year on heavily used cars. Um, we've just managed to spend enough time now though and really get into this little well. Uh, we've got a BMW, you all know this little well behind the spokes really gets, picks up brake dust and stuff. So we've managed to really get in there and sort some of that out. Um, and just really give it a bit of a birthday, freshen it all up um, and get it ready for, yeah, many more fun motoring miles. Um, Hello, if you're new to the channel, by the way, thank you very much for watching. Um, do consider subscribing and clicking the like button and saying, hey James, will you come and clean my car? Like lots of you seem to do actually. So good response to the previous couple of M2 videos we did. Uh, lots of stuff coming through. 
Um, yes, as I hinted at the end of the box, the video, there's some really cool stuff been in already in 2021. So I'm really looking forward to telling you more about that and showing you that when we get the time. Um, yeah, I don't want to dwell too much too long on this. What you really want to do is have a look around. That's probably why you clicked on the title for this, isn't it? You said, stop talking, James, and um, let me have a nose around Chris's car. So um, I will do that uh, within the realms of, of, of anything else, really. It's a shiny M2, but we will, I'll just like I do, pick you up now, fire in a bit of music, which is much better to listen to probably than me chatting, uh, and I will pick you up and we'll just have a little walk around. Um, like I said, the idea of this is not for a full, full, crazy, anal, super high level detail, I'm getting every last mark out of the paintwork. This car is used and does um, a very above average mileage, I would say. Um, so, you know, we could, if we want to, take every last mark out of the paintwork. The problem with that is really we are reducing the, the clear coat depth. So, what we've done on this is given it a nice boost in gloss boosted the depth of the black, but uh, not, we've minimised really the amount of clear coat that we remove. So there is the odd mark in it. It's not perfect, but the idea is this is a quick sort of top up service. And like I say, probably after the winter, we'll then have it back in, take the wheels off, do a much more thorough clean, and then maybe chase out a couple more of those deeper marks. So yeah, I will definitely now pick you up and take you for a walk around, fire a bit of music in, um, and let you go and look at this lovely M2 comp. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon on the next video, guys. Thank you.